So this is going to be a very quick, quick walkthrough. Uh, these mints, I have apple mint, peppermint, chocolate mint. I also have lemon verbena, I think, in here. I just planted just a couple of weeks ago. And they are doing wonderful. Yep, lemon verbena. That's right. These are flocks that the birds, I guess, gave me. Obviously doing great. My asparagus, I didn't get out here in time. I've had some issues with my legs, so my asparagus have bolted, but I'll get those cut down and it'll go right back up again. Looks like a berry bush, but I don't see any flowers, so I have to put on some decent gloves and get that pulled out of here. Uh, these are all my garlics. You'll see where we put the pieces of wood that defines that section as one type of garlic. So in this bed, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine types of garlic. And some of them I need to come out and get the garlic scapes. I'm going to go around this way. And on this next bed, there are one, two, three, four, four types of garlic. And here again, I have some more garlic scapes. I didn't cut the chives, but I can take the flowers off and I'm going to dry the chives and then ground them up. I did transplant in the, in the corner of each of this uh, horseradish, there were rhubarb. Dug those out and transplanted them. I don't ever recall my mother's horseradish being this tall. This thing is huge. But Bubby, Antoinette, it lives on. These up here are Egyptian walking onions. I do these little ball bits at the top. Those can be planted for more. Those are what goes down in the ground to call it a walking onion. They will transplant themselves, but I do have quite a few. If anybody would like to partake in growing Egyptian walking onion, let me know. I will need a self-addressed stamped envelope or stamps or something to cover postage. Unfortunately, I can't do that with some of these packages anymore. Um, my friend Sue Ann told me, oh, it's called mugwort, I think she found this plant. It just, it grows like crazy and it smells wonderful. And our grapevine isn't doing too bad. Not sure if we'll get anything out of it, but we'll, we'll see. And then walk over here. And this is our small raised strawberry plant, that raised bed for strawberry plants. We started with very few, and within two years, we're just taking over even onto the ground. But, so let's walk back this way. We had to trans, we had to replant some of our pepper plants. The cold snap we had, they didn't make it, and then we had that one torrential rain down for some of these pepper plants are elsewhere, we just don't know where they went. Obviously, the miracles are doing real well. Over here, we have tomato plants. There are some volunteer beans, bean plants from last year. Some of these are volunteer tomato plants. So we're going to have to tie them up. Some of the bean plants are going to up. These are all cattle panels. I don't use tomato cage if I can help it. Here are some more peppers, hot peppers in this raised bed. Yep, this is a bean plant. 
volunteer from last year going in the middle of the walkway. Tomatoes. Yes, it's a good thing I like tomatoes. Six. Three different types of eggplant. Two of each. I'm going to have to put something down there because I have bugs eating the leaves. This is celery. And once again, my celery is doing wonderful. Uh, baby romaine, eh, it's not doing too bad. Kohlrabi, there's a few of them there that are coming up. I have two different kinds of kohlrabi, and then I have beets that are doing wonderful. This is a golden beet right here, in July. This one is a red stripe beet. My Great Lakes lettuce never did come up. And this is kale. That's doing rather, rather well. And this whole row is tomato plants. And here are some volunteer chive plants. Just, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. We have some gourds coming up. We have cucumbers coming up. I have some hillbilly tomato plants and some green zebra. Looks like, gosh, I need to put something in here. Hmm. Sunflowers, maybe. There are some more. I think these are the volunteer tomato plants that Daryl found in the middle of the walkway. I have my beans are doing wonderful. They're starting to climb up. And this one is really taking off. These are bean plants. And more bean plants. As you can see, they're growing up the hoop, which is why we made it into hoop for our beans to grow up. I have two, two of the hoops. That's what our whole beans grow up. I have some zucchinis that are starting, not quite ready to to pick yet. We have some beautiful flowers. Those fry up wonderful. There's three of one here. Beautiful. Oh geez, more volunteer tomato plants. And something is eating once again, second year in a row, I'm not going to have any broccoli. Something is eating them. Uh, these are two raised beds, and all of these, except for the marigolds, and I see the weeds weeded real bad. These are all different types of onions. They're Walla Walla, Ringmaster, Elsa Craig which those are some of the biggest. There are also red candy apple and candy. And let's see, Superstar, it's also a big one. And then I have more over here growing. So I will need to get my little bench and so I can sit down because right now my leg is telling me, sit down, ladies, sit down. These are, wow, I don't remember. Maybe Daryl remembers. There was tags in here and they're gone. They look like peas. 
This is empty in here. And up in here I planted mammoth pumpkin seeds. Big Mac's pumpkin. We'll see what happens. I don't know. And the first two plants here are the rhubarb that are transplanted by over the horseradish. And the other two were a neighbor lady who came over and bought these at a garage sale. So she dropped me off some, some more rhubarb. So that's our quickie view for the day. And we will talk to you later. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment. Tell your family, tell your friends, bring your enemies. They may like vegetables. Have a good one.